Hi guys, I'm Mario with Extreme Industrial Lubricants and I'd like to show you the resistance of grease under extreme pressure. This here is called a Timken machine. Some people actually call it a lubricity test. Basically, it works on 5 amps. We place the grease on this race right here and we have a ball bearing locked into place. And for every pound on the scale, it actually works out to 7,000 PSI right on the point of contact. So we're going to take just a generic lithium grease, this is from the competition, and just place it on the race. And we could see that when you get to approximately one pound on the scale, it stalls the machine. Now what I'm going to do is do a compatibility test with our SMG Gold. This is our multi-purpose grease. And we'll just mix the two greases for now. If the two greases don't work well and they stall at before one pound, that means they're not compatible. And of course you want the two greases to be compatible. So it goes to one pound and then it could go even to one and a half pounds. So you know for sure the two greases are compatible. Could even go to two pounds, that's 100% better. Two and a half, even three pounds and shocking it. Of course, that's the two greases together, but what I'd like to do is show you how our grease works by itself. So we're going to wipe off the two greases. And this time, use the SMG Gold all by itself. So the first blue grease, which was a lithium grease, went to one pound. Here our SMG Gold could go to one and a half and two pounds, two and a half, three, three and a half, four, four and a half, five, and you could even shock load it. So if you have a lot of start stopping in your applications, it's not a problem at all. Besides extreme pressure, Something else that could uh, break down a grease is water. We are going to, actually before I put the water, I'm going to put a bit more grease for the water wash test. I'm going to put this cup right here and place some water right in there. As you know, water breaks down a grease very quickly. Our grease happens to be very water resistant, so you could even go to one, one and a half, and two pounds with no problems. Three, four, and just a reminder, the lithium grease with no water went to one pound. So it's very water resistant, extreme pressure resistant, and if you forget to grease the equipment, your bearings are still protected. And we're going to see that by simulating forgetting to grease or wiping it off. And you could see that our grease is already in the pores of that race. So you could still put extreme pressure on it even after wiping it off. And that was our multi-purpose grease called SMG Gold. What we have here is a heat test. We're going to put all these greases to uh, some 500 degrees Fahrenheit and see how they do. Obviously, if they melt, that's not a good thing. That means that in your bearing, when there's friction and heat, it won't be protecting your bearing. So this here is the lithium grease, the competitor's grease. About 80% of the greases on the market are lithium based. And these are our three greases. This one's called TMG2, which stands for Tacky Mining Grease. This one here is called SMG Gold, and that's basically our multi-purpose grease. And then this one right here is Super FG, our food grade grease. So I put them in, in that order. And now we're gonna see how they do in high temperatures as soon as I turn on this burner here. This is going to run at about 500 degrees Fahrenheit. 
think that's on. And after about 10, 20 seconds or so, some greases will melt. And here I'm going to put a slope on this pan here. And you could probably see that the lithium grease is already melting. I don't know if you got to see that, but let's do this again. There you go. So not only is it melting, it's uh, smoking, and the other greases are intact still. And that was our heat test. Many people have asked me, why is it that we have transparent uh, or see-through cartridges on our grease? Well, as you can see, our competition has a solid a tube or cartridge and you can't see through it. The reason why we have it transparent is because when you use it with a clear grease gun now you can see exactly how much grease you have in there. And it looks pretty fragile but uh, you could take your hammer to it or even a sledgehammer and see that it just won't shatter. Now if you're interested in our products, you could go to extremelubricants.com and if you'd like, we could come and compare our greases to your current grease right now in your shop. Thank you.